What's good folks, TNT Neon Prime here and we're back with another review and this time the review is going to be on Supreme Commander MHM-01B aka Rise of the Beast Nemesis Prime aka Optimus Prime. Alright, so before we get started, I did get this from Show store. I will post up an image. So once you're there at Show Z store, please, please remember to use my code TNT01. That's TNT01 and suggest your favorite reviewer box. You know that'll help me out a little bit. Also, um, y'all will get points. Also, the, the, also when you help me out, it helps me uh, gain a little more points so I can get figures like this to uh, review and see. If All right, so we're gonna start out a different way. Instead of doing a box art, we're gonna start out with accessories, and this dude come with a ton of accessories. First up, what we're going to see show is his blasters. Uh, famous blasters that should have came with the Studio Series Optimus Prime for the Rise of the Beast, but didn't. And here you go. Looking really good. Really good. All right. Up next is going to be his Energon Axe. Also, this axe is painted from tip to tip. Uh, besides this little piece right here, which is made to fit in his hand. Also up next is going to be the famous Energon Axe. They are also painted from tip to tip. Look really good, really good. Up next is going to be the take from the Bumblebee movie is the Hologram of the World. Also, his famous Ion Blaster, which is also have a little bit of paint done to it. Parts Builder, which makes a world of difference when it comes to transformation on this amazing piece of work. Comes with him is Noah Diaz. Uh, this with this figure also has a great range of articulation as you can see the head up also the head down also can get a confused look has a rotation full around has a shoulder rotation has a elbow bend to that high uh, no swivel but do have a ball joint has a waist rotation and do have a slight, slight ab crunch. Also can kick this high, can kick back that high, that far. Um, has a slight thigh swivel, has a knee bend, has a toe up, a toe down, also has in and out ankle tip and i think that is about it for this little figure so there we have mr supreme commander aka nemesis prime up close and personal so let's go ahead over with the paint work as you can see here he has a nice paint work here on his mask also his ab area here and side area here is also painted down here at the belt is also painted this this figure is painted throughout um, they did a real good job also there is some metal located on this figure as we can locate to the thighs the thigh areas are a aluminum not aluminum but like a die cast metal so very good there the gas the not the gas tank but the little air filter or whatever this thing is on the side is also painted as you can see here we have great detail work on the inside of the thigh very good detail work this area here the vent area on him is also painted as you can see his feet is also painted they really did a good job for this for a figure just to be 20 one dollars also on the back you can see everything painted on the back which is detailed except for this area here 
which is is out of the the plastic molding. As we look at up towards the back area, you can see on the back side, all of this area here is nicely painted. Also, with the back of the head is painted. Also, with some detail here on the side, you can see his ears are painted. Also, with the striped silver coming there is also painted. They did a really good job on this figure. Now for articulation on him. He do have a shoulder raise to here. This do, the pipe work do get in the way just a little bit, but to make that work, you can bring this part down here and swivel it out the way and you can get that much shoulder out of it. His head can do a full 360. He can look up that far. And if you can see there, you can see how detailed his eyes are in there, great detail there. He can have a slight confused look. He can have a side slight confused look. He can also look down that far. He has a rotation of our full 360. He has also has a great bicep swivel. He has a elbow bend to there past 90. Also, he do has a uh, what is it? Uh, double elbow because where well, it can actually bend back like so. All due to trans because of transformation. Um, hands are on a swivel. They can tilt tilt in a little bit and tilt out just a hair. He do have. Uh, what you might say is a fake ab crunch, but we ain't gonna say it's fake. We're gonna give it to him. We're gonna give him a good ab crunch. Pretty much can go all the way down and touch his toes. He also has a nice waist swivel, which he can do the full 360 due to transformation. He do have his skirts can get out of the way. He has a side kick to there he has a front kick to there and what they're using is a drop down joint method to get this high kick and you can see how high he can kick he is limited to the limited to the back of the back kick which that is okay um do have a upper thigh swivel have a knee bend to there have a inside ankle tilt a outside ankle tilt a slight toe tilt and a great range of toe down and i think that will do it for articulation on him he is very articulated all right so placement for the weapons so we have several pieces here. We have this little clip here, which will go on the gun. Um, pretty much placement will be just like that on the gun. And it can be pegged into these two holes here in the back. And he can carry the gun like so there with the swords also the swords can be pegged here also on the back side like so with those bring the light back over with this uh sword the sword can be pegged into place by using this little piece here that pegs here and the sword, I meant the ax can be pegged here. All right, to store the ax here, we have to take this little piece here and pretty much slide it here on the sword, on the ax and there, then slide this little piece down on the ax and pretty much placement here also in that same little peg hole. So we have that. With his blasters, 
The glasses can be pegged also in these same, same spots. And there we have, so it looked like little, uh, to me, little jet boosters where like he can actually fly with those. And that's pretty much about it as far as uh, storing the accessories. There's really no way that I found that you can store uh, this guy. There's, so I mean, he's gonna be it's gonna be a piece that you probably have in the back of your in the, in your box somewhere. But there's no place of uh, storing this. It would have been nice if they would uh did an area could make it like a shield um so maybe let's see no so that peg hole is a little too big for that so that'd be good that could have been a shield but in that that's where you can do your storage on mr Supreme Commander. Here he is with Bumblebee Optimus Prime and also Earthrise Optimus Prime. With Rise of the Beast Mainline Optimus Prime. And just to throw him in there, here he is with MPMN12 Bumblebee Movie Nemesis Prime. Alright, so let's get down to transformation of this dude. This was the chance area. This is painted in metallic silver. Of course, his uh, smoke stats is painted in a nice metallic silver. We have nice silver grill here. All this front end is painted except for the black. We do have the trim here painted in silver. We have exposed new paint here. We have paint here and for the doors. The wheels are also painted nice and silver and a nice big and pen. These are not rubber tire, they are a plastic. We do have a uh, thing that you don't see on Hasbro. You do see uh, dual axles. Uh, I think the only thing I've seen dual axles on was Scourge. Uh, so we do have the dual wheels on the axles, not dual axles. Um, even with this bed look, from what I've seen from the studio series of uh, Rise of the Beast Prime, this area looks 10 times better than uh, the studio series does. Uh, we do have nice red painted tail lights on the back side here. Feet come together looking good. Now, to clean this up, to make this really good, we're going to bring in this uh, parts builder part. And all we got to do is just pretty much lay it on here. And there you have it. We have a complete truck. Complete truck. And this truck do roll very, very well. So yes, this by far is superior over the studio series, not only uh, in truck mode and also in alt mode, which is a great size. Uh, this is what a leader class supposed to look like as far as size. Right, here he right. is with Movie, B, Movie Bumblebee Optimus Prime, and here he is with Netflix Earthrise Optimus Prime. Here he is with Jada Toys Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. And here he is with Mainline Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. And to just throw him in so y'all can see a size comparison. This is MPMN Movie Bumblebee Masterpiece Nemesis Prime, AKA Optimus Prime. So y'all can see the size of him. So you can see how big he is with this guy. 
So they let you know how big this guy is compared to we have the opposite side over here. And you see this peg hole right here. So basically we're gonna open this piece up right here and then we're gonna take this little piece here and just pretty much peg it in place right here. I don't know if y'all can see that real good. Peg it there in place and then peg this back in this spot. Then we're gonna take the gun here, his blaster, and then we're gonna post it here. Peg it right into this peg hole here. Peg it there. Same with the other side. And there you have it here on this side. And that's how it will look from the front. Also, we can store uh, his swords back here. His Also, his axe. So what we're gonna do here is store the swords here. The, the swords will just pretty much lay into this area here. That's pretty much like that. And same with this side. Also, his gun. We'll put the piece on for the gun, which this is the piece that we're gonna put on for the gun. Now that we have the piece mounted on the gun, we can go ahead and sit it here. So lay the gun in like so. So just pretty much clip in like that. Then you can place the axe here and either one of the pegs. And there we have him all weaponized up. And he looks good. All right, folks, that is my review on Mr. Supreme uh, Commander B, staff for Black, which we know him as Nemesis Prime. This is a pretty doggone good figure for just a low, low price of $21. I think it's a great one to pick up because he comes with an uh, array of assorted pieces uh way more than the studio series rise of the beast prime um he is taller uh so yes i think he is worth the price and he's painted throughout there's no skipping paint job on this guy also we get a little bit of die cast metal transformation was wonderful on it didn't complain not too big so yeah uh, they do have a they do have an optimus prime version of this but it is currently show uh sold out so yes like i said you can pick this up from showzstore.com and like right, folks as i always say god is good all the time 10 neon prime out y'all be blessed